Hi, and welcome to another Whimsy Stamps video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how I use two different alphabet die sets, the Quirky ABC Outlines die set and the Cutie Alphabet die set to create my own sentiment to go with the Bunny Birthday Clear Stamp set. Now recently I have been distressing a lot with my oxides and instead of just wiping away the extra ink, I have been spritzing it with water and putting it onto these scrap pieces of mixed media paper. It's such a fun way to create watercolor looking backgrounds that would have been just wiped away when you were cleaning up after crafting. So I used my quilted rainbow inlay die but just used that scallop border to die cut my blue and green scraps of paper to create a background, the blue for the sky and green for grass. So I am going to glue down my sky piece first to the top of my card base and I accidentally get this a little crooked. I didn't really notice how crooked it was until I placed on one of my grass pieces and I'm gonna fiddle with it a little bit but it's too late for the blue piece, the glue has already dried, but that's okay. I'm gonna continue on and you'll see what I do to fix it. So now that I have figured out, here you can see I'm just kind of struggling. Now I'm gonna glue down my first piece of grass and I'm gonna glue that directly down to my card base as well because I want the grass and blue sky to be flush on my card base since they weren't perfect die cuts of that inlaid scallop border die cut. So I will then pop up my little hill for my second piece of grass and I'm just using some foam strips from my stash here to put that onto the back of this paper. I'm going to peel off the release paper and then adhere that down to the bottom. And I'm still kind of sad that my background is so wonky. So I'm just going to trim around it. No big deal. So I'm just using a guillotine cutter and getting as close as I can to those scallops without cutting into my watercolor paper. And it's going to leave a very thin white border around my card, which is fine. The scallop is still pretty obvious against that white cardstock, so it still is going for the look that I wanted in the beginning. And then later on, I'll place it on another card base and it will turn out, I think, looking just as cute. So now that that's fixed, here you can see me testing it on another white card base and it looks fine and I'm pretty happy with how I could fix that problem. So now I'm going to work on die cutting my alphabet. I'm going to die cut the word love out of some teal card stock and this is just scraps from my stash and then the word you out of some white card stock. So that quirky outline cut the word love and I use cutie alphabet for you. So now let's work on stamping out these adorable bunnies. I'm using some alcohol marker friendly black ink and just using my Misty to help me stamp these bunnies twice so I can get nice clean and crisp images. I'm going to show you how I colored one of my rabbits just to give you an idea of my style of coloring. I started by using a pink in the ears and nose of my rabbits and then I am using different shades of, of a warm gray like a brown gray for my rabbit. So I am starting off with the lightest and just adding in where I think the darkest parts of my rabbit are going to be just adding in that shadow. And then I will bring in my medium tone to darken those shadows up. So I'm just laying down a little bit of that soft color first and now I'm moving into my mid-tone which will actually just be two tones for my rabbit. The third darkest tone you'll see how I use that in a minute here. So just going over those same spaces that I did with the lighter gray, I'm going with my medium gray and just darkening up the shadows and then now I'll go back to that light gray and just color all of the rabbit in and this will help blend in between those two shades and just kind of even out the color but it's still giving my rabbit some dimension because I used the darker color as shadow so I did it around the edges of the rabbit under his feet under his hands under his neck because the head would cast shadow um, sitting on top of our rabbit's shoulders and I'm going to go through and finish coloring him up and then I will bring in that darkest shade and I'm going to use instead of my brush tip, I'm going to use the bullet tip and I'm just going to add in some little speckles. I like doing this to my critters. I think it just adds a fun little cartoon touch to my animals. 
And once I'm done with that, I will move on to the tail. I'm gonna bring back just that lightest gray and just outline the edge of my little bunny's little puffy tail. And I also use some pink on the cheeks and then I'm gonna use my paper snips here to just fussy cut these out. And then I'll use my white gel pen to add in a little bit of highlight back into my rabbits. Once all that coloring is done, we can start laying out the card. I'm going to play around with how I want my rabbits to be on my card. I think I like the two that face towards this, towards the middle to be on the edges and the one laying down will be in the center. And then my love will be first to go onto my card because my U is going to overlap just a little bit to create my own homemade sentiment. So once I'm happy with the layout, I'm going to play with it a little bit and I'm going to also decide to curve the love so it kind of creates like a half circle curve on my card for my sentiment. And I'm going to first glue down the love because that is what's the first layer on my card. So I'm playing with that, getting it in that half circle. And then I'm going to use some repositional tape to pick up those die cuts. This is my go-to way of making sure that the letters are going to be glued down in the same way that I laid them out. So I pick up the letters with my tape and I'm going to add wet glue behind each of those letters. And then I'm going to glue this down to my background, again towards the top knowing that my U is going to fit underneath it. And normally I leave my tape on until the glue dries, but I need to glue my next set of letters. So I'm going to slowly peel that up and just make sure my letters stay in place. And I want to create some shadow on these letters because these are a die cut for stamps. So they have a little bit of bulk to them, if that makes sense. They're a little thick compared to a normal word or letter die cut. So I'm creating it like it has shadow by adding some white gel pen to the edges of the letter. So my light source is towards the center of my card. So the shadow, I guess you could say, of this white gel pen I have towards the left on L and O and then towards the right on V and E. And this just gives my letters some dimension and some depth um, because they are a little bit thicker as they're normally an outline die for a stamp set. So once I am happy with how the white is looking on those letters, I'm now going to work on the U. I'm going to place them in a kind of curve. It's a lot harder to see since these are smaller letters and a smaller word. And then I'm going to pick that up with my same repositional tape and apply wet glue behind those letters to glue on to my card base. So here I am going to just tap off a little bit of the glue because I thought there was a little too much and I didn't want it to kind of splash off the sides of my die cuts. And then I'm going to make sure it's nicely centered to the best that I can using my grid mat for help and then slowly peeling up that tape to make sure my letters look good. And now I can work on placing my rabbits. So I apologize for the light in this scene. I'm obviously crafting next to a window as you could probably tell in various spots of this video, but I will close my blinds in just a minute here. So I wet glue adhered my middle rabbit to the top of my hill and then I'm going to use some foam circles to give my other two rabbits a little dimension so it looks like they're actually closer to the card receiver than that bunny laying in the grass. So once those bunnies are all attached, I will go ahead and close those blinds and then I'm going to bring out these sequins. They are a mix that I have. They're very old so if you are replicating this card, just use what you have in your stash, but they are a mix of kind of see-through but blue and green tinted sequins just to add to the colors that are already on the card. And now I am ready to glue this piece to a new card base and this time I decided to use a craft colored cardstock. I thought it would add a nice touch to the edge of the card and I'm just making sure that is nice and secured. And now I'm going to add just a little bit more. I wanted to add some glossy accents to my U so that way there was something special about those letters as well. And here is the final card. I hope you learned something new and that you'll try mixing your own alphabet die cuts to create your own fun sentiments. 
If you like this video, we hope you'll click like, and if you want to see what was used, head down to the description. You can also find links to Whimsy Stamp social media, their Pinterest, Instagram, and Facebook group, where you can find even more inspiration using these products. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!